Hello and welcome back to our devotional reading time of Spiritual Moments with the Great Hymns by Evelyn Bentz. Today's song that we are talking about, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, 1807 to 1882. Twenty years ago, I saw some cleverness in the title of a book by Francis Schaeffer. He is there, and he is not silent. Now I think the line, a poor imitation of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's classic line from this classic carol, God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. A season Longfellow wrote, I heard the bells in the long cold winter of 1863 and 1864. This aging popular poet knew the rush of success, his song of Hiawatha selling a million copies in his lifetime. But he had also been agonizingly crushed with the loss of his wife, whose life had burned out when her gauzy dress accidentally ignited. And the war between the states mercilessly raged Longfellow was an ardent abolitionist, but the cost of war was high. Antietam, Vicksburg, Gettysburg, sons, fathers, brothers, from Maine to Mississippi, thousands had not come home for Christmas. And yet, for such a winter as this, Christ had come to earth. My younger brother connects, I heard the bells, with a bad dream scenario related in the December 25th entry of Streams in the Desert, the dog ear devotional by Mrs. Charles E. Calman that reigned over the bathroom of our childhood. In Mrs. Calman's account, a pastor has a Christmas morning nightmare in which he views the world without Christ. He dreams that he is called to a woman's deathbed, he opens his Bible to offer comfort, but finds no New Testament, no resurrection promises, no gospel consolation. In his dream, he weeps bitterly, viewing a world without the Christmas spirit, without the Christmas Christ. But suddenly, the preacher wakes up, drawn back to the real world as he hears the strains of a familiar carol attesting the Lord's coming. As Mrs. Cowman told the story, the breakthrough song was not Longfellow's. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, but tried to tell my brother that. That pastor's nightmare has always haunted me, he says. If Christ had not come, would there be any hope for our world? Even as it is, I shudder when I watch the evening news. Verse 3 of I Heard the Bells summarizes my personal nightmare. And in despair I bowed my head, there is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Verse 4 wakes me from my horrid dream. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep, God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, good will to men. Sometimes it is hard to grasp the angelic promise of ultimate peace, made by angels to Bethlehem shepherds. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. It speaks of a future day, yet Christ himself declared that the gates of hell would not prevail against his church. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, 
The wrong shall fail, the good shall triumph. We may still anticipate that final celebration of victory, but we don't have to wait for the reality of Longfellow's memorable present tense line. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. Let the belfries roll the song. Christ has come. God is here and far from silent. Let us pray. Dear Lord, whether it's Christmas Day or mid-July, throughout this day give us reminders of your presence here with us. Wake us out of our nightmares by allowing us to hear the songs of Zion. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time for our devotional reading time.